what is up everyone this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel if you ever talk about the unique ui in your android device you always think about descendant os and everyone use descendant os a lot of times i personally use descendant os a lot of times on my device and yes i notice that this is one of the unique uis out there why it is so but we all know that it has very unique ui but we don't know that it has very cool kind of battery backup also i'm going to share with you some screenshots of battery backup battery usage in this descendant os descendant os room and i am also using from past 20 to 25 hours approximately and the battery backup is very very interesting uh, but still if you talk about the performance it depends upon your device like in my case i'm using redmi note 8 so performance is not that much great yes it's good but we have other rooms which have better performance than this in my opinions but yes in your opinions maybe something different for you let's talk about some features and battery backup about this room right now guys this room has very cool kind of unique kind of things in ui but still it does not come with that much features pre-installed we have the launcher launcher pre-installed yes the launcher has a customizations we already know about that the theme desktop home widget dock and these kind of things have customizations launcher is pre-installed it's an alternative of google pixel launcher so yes some customizations are there which you can customize also we can add the widgets and we can also organize the screen if we wanted to that's a very interesting thing wallpapers widgets and home settings are available here we also have the styles and wallpapers pre-installed and by default you'll get these this kind of on device wallpaper but yes we have other wallpapers options available live wallpapers and some things like that other things are just kind of the same thing here moving on to some other things let me tell you one thing we have the Kiwi browser pre-installed. If you don't know what is Kiwi browser, it's just an alternative of Google Chrome browser. It's based on Google Chrome browser actually, but with some cool kind of features. First of all, if we go here, we have the extension option available here. As you can see, we have the extensions. So yes, we can use the extensions on our device if we want to. Including that, we have the hide annoying ads options available. Let me tell you once by going here we have the hide annoying ads options yes in my case if i open this website from here like the clickboost.com you will not see any ads here because we're using the kiwi browser that's a very cool kind of interesting thing you can block the ads everywhere but yes uh, blocking ads is not recommended for us because that is just a source for a lot of a lot of advertisers out there and a lot more guys out there so but still if you need a clean internet and clean web page you can use the kiwi browser which is pre-installed also one of the cool things out there is you can apply the substratum if you want to. The flux white substratum theme I have installed and I've applied it on my device right now and it's working perfectly fine here. So yes, the simple and unique UI with the substratum support is one of the cool kind of things out there. As you can see, flux white substratum theme is installed. If you don't know how to install the substratum theme, substratum themes and this flux white substratum theme, I already made a dedicated video. Also, I have a playlist on substratum themes so you can go and check it out and then you'll get an idea how to apply this and how this flux white substratum theme is let me show you where the uniqueness is this is the uniqueness there at the quick settings panel which has a very cool kind of ui first of all you can adjust these kind of things and this is our brightness lighter which is very interesting and yes this is the brightness lighter which is changed after applying the substratum theme but by default it's also very cool kind of things here you can also see that my battery drainage is 137 119 milliampere discharging and idle drain 0.45 percent per hour active drain 9.35 percent per hour which is a very cool kind of things also let me show you if you talk about the magisk manager i'm using the latest magisk 20.4 bit of disappointment for me here is the safety net status cts profile is not true so that's a little bit of disappointing yes you can use the magisk 20.3 if you want to or also you can hide the magisk and some users reported that if you hide the magisk safety net status will be passed but i don't know about that so yes it depends upon you moving on to the settings we have a little bit of uniqueness here also 
these are the icons which are themed here because of flux substratum theme but this is the default rounded ui is the default one okay so let me show you some customizations as i already told you it does not come with many customization features by the way but has little bit of very useful features let me show you first of all go to the gestures option go to the system gesture system navigation we have the full screen gesture options available there which is a very cool kind of feature out there and i personally use these kind of features so in that case if i use the keyboard right now i will not see any spacer behind this keyboard and by using the full screen gestures no spacer i mean spacer available that's a very interesting thing so in my case it's a very useful feature i personally use that so i will also recommend you if you are also on the user regarding this swipe to screenshot we already know about this three finger swipe to screenshot is a very useful feature we always use this in MIUIs and other rooms and yes it's available there too so yes that's why i said it has some useful features out there no extra customization features but some useful features also it has a face lock available not every custom rooms come with the face lock available right now but yes it has the face lock kind of a very interesting things too Moving on to the sound and sound and vibration here, we have the live caption option pre-available. That's a very interesting thing. Some of the guys use live caption features, so that's a useful feature for them also. But for me, it's not that much useful because I sometimes don't use live caption feature, but it has its unique ringtones, unique message sounds and a lot of things like that, touch vibration and we have the volume rocker controls available like the music control that's i personally use sometimes and that's a very interesting feature for me actually a useful feature for me enable the expanded button in volume panel and pause meter these kind of options you get here display has very cool kind of things available as you can see everything is divided here into sub menus that's interesting thing here we have the thumb ui and quick setting panel ui changed let me show you by enabling this and now if we open our quick settings now quick settings are changed just click this and then you will see these are the icons changed here which is a very interesting thing and in a single room you have two kinds of different uis out there is a very very interesting thing we can also enable the thumb ui so yes like this you can use this thumb ui here like the samsung one ui which is very very interesting so if you go to the battery backup here in my case i don't have that much data so i will i cannot show you this data here but i'll show you after that in display let me show you one more thing we have this dark theme body fonts customizations and a little bit more things including like the notch behavior which is one of my favorite as you can see i have enabled the hide notch option which is perfectly fine here these are some cool battery stats of this Descendant OS room on Redmi Note 8 Gingo by some users and as you can see screen uses time 4 hours 22 minutes this is a graph you can see here and this is the normal thing Clash Royale, Multiplayer. these are the apps it used and the room is quite great in the terms of battery backup as you can see screen uses since full charge is 6 hours now with these screens actually screen usage is 5 hours 59 minutes the battery stats, battery graphs this is one of the cool custom rooms out there in the terms of battery backup so yes you can use this room in the terms of battery backup if you want to also it has very unique ui so if, if you want to use that just use it and now this was all from today's video installation is quite simple and quite easy install the room room comes with the google apps pre-installed you don't need any extra package for that install magic reboot everything is done now this was all from today's video if you like it don't forget to like and share this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe also now thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day